Hi, I want to demonstrate the relationship between the frequency of your transducer and the resolution of the transducer. And uh, this is a handy little uh, chart here. It shows different variables, frequency, penetration, attenuation, divergence, sensitivity, crystal thickness, resolution, wavelength, and near field. So frequency, as the frequency of your transducer goes up, your sensitivity goes up, meaning that you'll find uh, smaller indications, and your resolution goes up, meaning that you can detect um, small indications that are close together. As the frequency goes down, your sensitivity goes down, but your resolution goes down. The ability to uh, discern small indications that are close together it gets a little more difficult. And I'm going to demonstrate that today by using the, uh, I'm, I'm going to use two transducers. I'm going to use a 5 megahertz quarter inch 70 degree wedge and a 1.5 megahertz half inch diameter 70 degree wedge. Um, I know it's not quite apples to apples because I don't have a half inch 5 megahertz and I don't have a quarter inch uh, 1.5 megahertz. But I'm going to use this, uh, the I, uh, excuse me, the AWS resolution block. And what it has is markings on here for 60 degrees and three holes. So you're 60 degree, you'd shoot at this and try to resolve those three holes. 45 degree would shoot over here to try to resolve those. And the 70 degree. So here's the mark for the 70 degree. Here are the three holes I need to resolve with the 70 degree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my beam index point right on that 70 so that my beam index point is sitting right there 70 degrees beam index point to the one and a half uh, megahertz transducer shooting at these three holes here and as you can see uh, i see three holes but they're kind of uh kind of running a bit let me zoom let me zoom on that and there are three holes indeed um there is that's the bottom hole. This hole is the bottom hole. That's the middle hole. And that's the top hole right here. And we can kind of take a uh, paper clip and play games. And you can kind of see the dampening. See how, how I can dampen that and actually see those holes. So as you can see, my resolution isn't all that great. I can see those holes, but they kind of run together. Now let me pull up my setup for the 5 megahertz. And let me change this over real quick. 5 megahertz, uh, quarter inch. And let me pull my setup here. Let me go to my setup. Files open. And I have a file that is 5 megahertz, 70 degree, quarter inch. Let me open him. Then we need to push recall setup. Bring it back down. Again, to that 5 megahertz, 70 degrees, quarter inch, and we'll hit the check, which is the recall. Hit the check, and it's going to recall that setup. So I basically had the same setup, the same range, uh, my gate in the same area. Now the difference is, now I have a 5 megahertz transducer and list, and here's my beam index point. Here's my 70 degree. Let me plot, uh, put it on that 70 degree. My beam index point, look how crisp that is. Higher frequency, better resolution. You can clearly see those three holes uh, versus the, the uh, one and a half megahertz. Now let me again show you the gate. We can zoom that gate. I can zoom it in and you can see very clearly um, three well-resolved holes. Those three holes are easy to resolve. See that? And um, versus the one and a half megahertz, they're kind of squished in. So it shows you higher frequency, which is a uh, smaller uh, wavelength. We can detect uh, s smaller defects and resolve them closer together versus high frequency. Of course, uh, there's always a uh, trade-off, but that's the way it is. Uh, the trade-off is high frequency doesn't have the depth of penetration that a low frequency like a one and a half megahertz has. But this clearly demonstrates um, the effects 
that the frequency your transducer has on the resolution of your defects.